Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 103, the $1,000 a day challenge. How to average $1,000 a day net profit day trading within just one or two hours a day. As you see in most of my videos, I usually wrap my trading up well under, uh, achieve my target in well under one hour. Now today we're going to be looking at uh, a number of trades I took on Friday. So I had three out of three and I actually recorded part of a session. So I'll play that back the recording uh, of the three trades. Plus then we'll go to the live chart so I can just explain some setups and exactly what I'm looking for and why my strategies work so well as we get underway we do need to pull up the disclaimer traders don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose please feel free to pause the disclaimer to read or pause your video I should say to read the disclaimer uh, very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my free day trading ebook please go to the link below uh, I'm also going to be referring to an Excel spreadsheet you can also request that as well uh, so you'll see that uh, down below I have a link for that even better still become a member I'll just be very quick with this for $197 uh, you get all of my indicators uh, I've got them for TradeStation Ninja Trader uh, with MT4 and Think or Swim I've got either custom indicators or I Give, either way I'll give you the settings to use so you can set up the indicators exactly as I use them over 200 hours of online instruction uh, there's dozens of videos look as my members save a members area is like a gold mine but the best part is you don't have to go and watch them to learn my strategies because on top of that uh, as a bonus you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions now they are recorded if you can't attend the live sessions if after the first month you love it you which you will you can then sign up at $97 a month and have my ongoing coaching but that's optional and you've got to email me if you'd like to do that all of that for only $197 let's now move on so what would a thousand dollars a day net income mean to you and your family for most people that would be a game changer a life changer now this is where I want to reframe how you may be thinking as a trader if you're watching this video it's because you want to learn how to trade or maybe trading hasn't been good for you up till now or perhaps you want to improve your trading results I talk to traders about starting on the simulator then going for $100 a day and building from there now I know that so many people and you're sold on the um, uh, the dream of earning five hundred or thousand dollars a day per contract is that achievable yes it is trading the right strategies and the right time of day is it realistic for a newer trader no it's not so start small and that's how you build your confidence and we step it up with your experience and I have so many members that are going for this that is they target $100 a day and they build it up slowly they're building both their confidence and competence now that was taken directly out of the uh, chat box and then eventually this is what you sort of I made $4,200 um, uh, today now of course their results may not be typical I've got to say that legally nowadays uh, and I've been trading now day trading now for 28 years so you may not be able to repeat what I do however traders with the strategies they are pattern based and as the late Mark Douglas says that's what you want to be trading so I target $200 a day per contract so I'm uh, happy with a thousand a day so trading just five lots I might add and go up to 10 lots but I'm not a 100 contract trader some say well why don't you trade 100 contracts you've got such a high loss win ratio I'm in my 60s I'm happy with what I earn day trading there is you know it's a fallacy where they say that um, you know there's thousands of traders earning two three four five million a year are they out there of course they are but you've got to trade within your comfort level and by the way when you're trading for a hedge fund or, a, or an institution it's totally different psychologically it's someone else's money so I'm going to show you this recording in a moment uh, of these three trades in fact 
we're at that there is um the first trade there is at 155 I'm actually recording this just before I go live again at 150 a.m. now this is central standard time no no you don't have to be trading that time it's just this is uh, nearly 5 p.m. my time and I love this time of day for trading it suits me mighty fine now the markets open at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so this is fairly typical especially on the NQ so we're on the NQ four tick Renko now as we head into the uh, London session which starts really in 10 minutes from now my time and really right at this time here the London session opens when I recorded this uh, you might want to jump up to the six or the eight tick Renko you can't trade the four tick Renko during the New York morning for an example you can trade the eight tick sometimes you can trade the um, sorry I'm just gonna pause this my dogs going crazy now you might have noticed that pause but <laughs> my grandson just called in to come visiting as I always say traders my videos are raw real and unedited they're real okay uh, so on the four tick uh, it's not practical you trade that at all hours now for an example if I'm trading the six tick which is generally what I would step up to very soon uh, I I'm after three hundred dollars a day per contract and I won't get right into it now it's because of a greater amount of equity involved now what I want to do is quickly drill down on how much capital do you really need I mean realistically none of this BS that we see in the YouTube videos that give you unrealistic expectations and telling you that you know you can risk 5% that's not, just not true as a day trader unless you're very experienced now Stephen Covey unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago after a, a bicycle accident but he wrote the seven habits and one of the habits was uh, any quite and let me quote him begin with the end in mind and what he states here to begin to begin with the end in mind means to start with a clear understanding of your destination it means to know where you're going so you better understand where you are now and so the steps you take are always in the right direction so it's a little bit like a ship without a rudder um, of course is you know a lot of people are like a ship without a rudder they're just floating around aimlessly all these figures in their head where they want to go well creating a realistic trading plan is the first step now to trade this market realistically traders to do it safely and the way I trade uh, you need to start off with either four thousand dollars or if you start on the micro which is ten percent of the value of the big contract you need four hundred dollars okay now if you don't have four thousand or even if you do have four ten twenty one hundred thousand dollars start on the micro cut your teeth there and go from there and even before you start on the micro you start on the simulator okay you make all the mistakes on the trading dome before you go live uh, you know and any of the other rookie mistakes that are easy to make now here you may start on the micro and then switch over or add money to your account once you build both your confidence and your competence but here's the reality of this and this is a spreadsheet you can download and I've done a little training video so you can actually um, learn how to use these figures it's just not a matter of punching anything in there's a technique to it in in how this comes together but here if you're going for four hundred dollars per contract and your, your target is twenty dollars a day you can see here by that time or by 12 weeks you're now trading 11 contracts and your account is now uh, nearly five thousand dollars now you can roll over and start trading the big contract and how this works is you only start trading a second contract when you have 800 a third contract when you got 1200 a fourth when you got 1600 we're using the markets money okay you're not building your account you're not progressing there's only one way to learn how to day trade it's the right way the first time now what it comes down to then is within weeks we've now got the money there within um, to roll over start trading the big contract okay 12 weeks we can start there and is $20 a day realistic well here we've got us trading here with um, uh, just one contract teaching members $63 $75 $88 here I'm talking 
$20 a day right so yes you can do this with your right training with patience um, uh, and applying it correctly now we now switch over to the big contract where our target is now $200 a day now over here we can see then within a further 12 weeks we have the potential of earning $10,000 a week trading around 10 contracts at a time now what this really comes down to you're starting off with $400 targeting 20 a day and we're going to be showing you how to do that our account is now 46 we now go over to the big contract within a further 12 weeks our accounts now 46,000 total time taken 24 weeks the question is where will you be in the next six months that's what it really comes down to now one thing I do want to say because you're going to be looking at me or I'm going to be potentially training you as your coach you've got to go live first you do not start trading even a micro until you've mastered things on the simulator okay because if you do you're developing the wrong habits you develop what we call muscle memory but anyway I'm getting I'm digressing here but once again it's about learning how to trade correctly now in the end how do you achieve $200 a day on the four tick risking a maximum of $80 per trade okay down here you need between three and four trades a day net after any losses now for members watching this um, as you'll see in a moment uh, how I got those but you're going and how we get there 34 B's your 55's your 89's okay and this is really comes down to having the patience to waiting for the setup now just before we go to the recording couple of things we need to consider on the charts you'll see that I refer to pivot levels the current days or the prior days sorry open high low and close levels the major EMAs particularly the 89 and 200 EMAs on the anchor charts the intraday swing highs and lows that is swings as you're trading throughout the day and the current days open high and low now with all of these these are what we call price magnets also major areas of support and resistance now all of these you can have on just about any trading platform there are indicators available which will plot all of these automatically anyway so that makes life a lot easier so what we're going to do we'll go to the uh, uh, to the recording there's no sound on there um, and I'll just walk you through it and we can watch it tick over and I'll explain my thinking now uh, this is Monday and I um, did these trades on Friday so um, if I'm a little sketchy on what I'm looking for or exactly what I'm thinking at the time um, four days is a long time in my world okay uh, so let's uh, go over to here so first of all just so you clearly understand what we're looking at this is a four tick NQ Renko chart now what it means is from the low to the high of these candles is four ticks or on the NQ $20 now also what I'm about to show you here you can apply to oil um, uh, the ES uh, YM um, uh, the Russell shall just finish doing a training video for members on the Russell uh, it, it doesn't matter which market the currency futures Forex it doesn't really matter okay um, now what will the differ is your brick size okay so Renko means brick uh, you can apply this to any type of chart a time-based chart uh, tick charts uh, I prefer Renko um, it, it just smooths that price action and it does make it look once you get into Renko you'll never probably go back to anything else uh, I will refer to a tick chart just to check a couple of things because one thing about Renko it smooths price action out but sometimes you can lose some additional information that's hard for you to see there but there's what we call some Renko tails which can be little pullbacks and they can give you some nice scalping opportunities but we won't worry about that to begin with now first of all here we're crossing below the 200 EMA let me get this ticking when you cross under the 200 uh, quite often then and I'll pause that here um, quite often then that will lead to a new trend or a new potential 
um, uh, a very an extended move okay so we want to take notice uh, of that now first of all I'm going short here traders what's the direction of a trend here and you'll have to excuse this bar nothing I can do about that down the bottom here uh, here this is the important thing we pull back to the major EMA okay I've now got a bounce I've got a wee bit of divergence not a lot and I call this a 3b okay so I've got a 3b set up here now usually I will come down and target a prior swing so remember before I was talking to you about uh, looking at swings um, oh and I should just correct myself I'll 90% of the time use a fixed target seven steps irrespective of the time frame I go for seven steps and I get out my break even is five I'm after seven but where I'll increase my target is if I feel I've got a major swing high or low or I've got a pivot or a major um, price magnet in front of me I will go for a larger target but the way I look at it get in get out get paid leave something on the table for the other guy okay um, so I prefer to do that now remember you only need three or four trades a day and you're there net even less than that sometimes so um, uh, there's no need to be greedy and um, uh, get in get out get paid and you, you may have heard of a, the concept called POQ it's called the power of quitting POQ and so to get in um, it, it just makes life a lot easier but anyway so on my matrix on my dome uh, I'm automatically going to uh, to set up and and make my trades here now let me just uh, get the dome and to show you what I mean so if I was trading live this is what you'd be actually uh, looking at traders okay and down here is where I can edit so if I'm on the uh, four tick which is what we're on now I've got a stop loss of 14 and a target there of 16 and I go to break even at seven, sorry at 10 ticks uh, and want to go to break even 10 ticks plus two so break even is my entry price plus I lock in ten dollars uh, why it covers your commission and the way I look at it with commissions and typically it's around um, four dollars eighteen I think uh, with my broker is that uh, uh, you know one tick for the broker if you like the rest is mine this one way of looking at it so just wanted to show you that's what we're doing so I would enter the trade here using that but then I will manage the trade directly on the screen you so you got the ability to do that on most trading platforms so I'll enter here usually using a stop limit order or a limit order uh, I will use my oh actually on here I did use market orders I think uh, on the next two trades and the reason being I'll explain in a moment so in fast moving markets I will then uh, use a um, what was I saying uh, I'll then use a market order all right so let's uh, continue with this so this is a 3b so I can I think I did go for a larger target here so let's just uh, watch this for a minute now the recording here this was at about uh, 158 now here I am making my target there a, a wee bit larger and the reason being the line we're about to have London open and I'll quite often say to members look just be very careful trading around the open of any market for an example the New York open I call that the killing field very easy particularly on the nifty NAS or the nasty NAS as some people call it the NASDAQ it can be very very whippy now what about oil this time of day what about other markets is look there's some really good markets uh, this time of day that you can be uh, trading now here uh, my target is down here so what I'll usually do if I'm going for a larger target I will usually lift my stop loss back up in other words when I go to break even automatically at five steps down uh, if I'm I'll quite often lift that back up okay so well and I think I probably even will do that here I do it most times just to give it a, a bit of wriggle room particularly this time of day because we're about to get a ton of volume uh, the anchor charts are in a downtrend the entry charts in a downtrend 
okay so usually I'll give it some wriggle room just there now uh, come on I might even hurry this along a little bit here all right now this is called taking a bit of heat <laughs> okay so and for members watching this is actually turning into another trade entry called a t10 uh, which is a very good uh, reversal confirmation so I've actually got another setup just here uh, called a t10 ideally if you get the super scalper super scalper by the way is the white paint bar okay so that's a nice confirmation let's just go along a bit further here okay I'm just gonna hurry this along there we go so now we're starting to trend down now you'll see here that um, uh, so I'm a very simple trader as far as my targets go now just note there automatically my platforms taking me to uh, break even at five steps I'm going for a larger target now say if I feel the market stalls as this target here I'm targeting this low over here not that one I look for my major intraday low. and what I'm checking out there by the way is to see if I have any pivots below me now see that there that's a pivot that's yesterday's close here's another pivot now um, they're important because they become price magnets now what you don't want to do if you're going for an extended target I don't want to run bang into a pivot and have a surprise okay uh, so just here finally we got filled there on five lots so that's our first contract now this at that time the markets open so this is really starting to move now just here if I remember correctly there was a there was yesterday's high or close or what and I can't scroll down just below and see this here for members watching this also you can see a nice t3 setting up just here but watch what happens this is yesterday's close now uh, for new traders watching this a t3 is a reversion to the mean trade but note that here see this gap between yesterday's close and price action be very wary of that when we have that in a faster moving market what will happen quite often you'll um, get faked into a trade only to see it come down a couple of minutes later and test the low or yesterday's close or the pivot now see that coming down now so normally if we were bouncing off that level we would have an entry called a t3 it's a, a reversion to the mean trade however I don't want to take that unless it's off a pivot level so now let's see if I can get a, uh, a trade in now I can't remember exactly I've got a feeling we then collapse through this okay so here also you can't see but now we'd be getting some divergence on our entry chart now this also look at this is called angulation just here. now this is live this is sorry this is recorded in real time so that's the speed of the market which generally uh, if you want to trade this time of day you simply up the time frame to slow your chart down the, sm the, the lower the time frame the quicker the trade um, or the faster price action is moving now this is a t3 now note here I've gone to break even automatically and I've hit my target now that target there was seven steps so I'm quite happy to get out there because I had what was once support quite often becomes resistance so I could possibly get and typically we would get another setup in this sort of region so I know I did get a short up here somewhere so we're out so we got two out of three now what makes my life so much easier is the anchor chart there are rules to how we, and see the white paint bar here so I call that the super scalper so that really sets the uh, trade up for me now here what about entering here I would not enter until the anchor chart one candle is also red so I don't have it to show you here but if you looked at this on the anchor chart and I've got a mathematical formula that I use for assessing and uh, what time frame so this is a four tick 
so I've got a specific time frame that I would use an actual fact if we look at this just here let me just pause this and so because we're jumping ahead here I just want to show you this so typically uh, and this is a the training session I do for members except I've removed here for the public video the time frames that we use so I've pretty much got set time frames and it's a well I want to call it a bit of a trade secret something that I've discovered after discovered after 28 years of trading where I have an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two and settings I use there so we're on the four two now on the anchor chart one when I have a deep pullback the anchor chart one candle must close so if you had a, if we were looking at the anchor chart one you would see all green candles but what we're looking for then is not only for the super scalper but I'm also looking for the anchor chart one candle to confirm the trade entry as well okay and I want you to think of the logic in that let's also we basically we're surfing the waves here in the direction of the tide here the tide turned on a higher time frame now we're waiting for it to head back down again okay that's the logic behind it so that's very very important so let's go back up here again start here and so what I was looking at here was a retracement whenever I get a pull back to a pivot uh, back to my 89 and and traders are for or for my members watching you're about to get a little bit the farm here as well look at that there I've entered the trade okay just here we went to break even automatically why because we hit um, hit five I lifted my target back up why we had an incredible um, uh, um, uh, potential for making a lower low here and just there I wasn't filled I think I was within one tick of being filled so the reason I then took my um, stop back up was because if it had come up it would have stopped me out basically making only a tick or two oh and now I'm out of that that trade so I've hit my target so just actively managing the trade now you could just um, set and forget as I call it as well go for the um, plus seven or more and notice this swing down here now we'll see what happens in a moment I think we actually punch through that swing low but see what I mean about the importance of knowing where your swings are now actually <clears throat> I should have really increased that target by a couple of more steps now each one of these steps here is worth ten dollars okay so they're worth ten dollars per step so effectively I'm after um, uh, and, and my yeah so I'm after uh, $70 moves per trade or if I get out now just here this is another thing if I'd have taken this one this is what we call a, a pivot magnet trade by the way which is a good 90% trade if I take a pivot magnet trade you'll find I will get to break even if I haven't hit my target now for example I had to take in this trade by the time I hit there I may not have actually automatically gone the break-even so I'll manually go to break-even why because quite often this will happen we will bounce but a, um, a pivot magnet trade is where we're trading in the direction of the overall trend when we've got all three time frames oh but actually as long as the entry in the anchor chart one confirm very high probability trades now let's just quickly look at what's happening on price action right now with the market now getting back to what we were looking at that was this time of day uh, we were looking at last Friday now it's now Monday Monday morning early so you just had a 2b just start sorry 3b 3b uh, 34b look at your divergence that no doubt would have been what we call a 2d there is your t10 okay we come down now see this little bounce down here okay so this is tells me I'm bouncing on a major EMA on my anchor chart too for a new trader I want you to remember the term 
uh, uh, follow the cloud see the blue cloud and or the orange cloud blue for long orange for short okay you want to follow the cloud now look at this here notice how I've come down and bounced off a pivot now as we're coming down again down we come automatically we sorry traders sorry I had to pause at the cough then All right as you come down or pivot automatically expect the bounce now how big a bounce it will be now note this this is a new lower low so how do we identify when we may be changing market direction or the tide is turning well first of all are we closing below the 200 secondly are we starting to make new lower lows and new lower highs okay. so we're looking for lower lows and lower highs now this is our first move under the 200 when you first move under a 200 EMA on your entry chart this will quite often um, uh, is leading to a new trend so if you do have a divergence trade these are more likely to fail this is sort of like wave one in a trend so we could have taken an entry realistically we wouldn't have been in until here now what I want you to look at traders look at this here on the four tick look at that there this is what we call divergence let's see what that looks like on the anchor chart one aha uh -huh. look over here traders see that there see this here this is called divergence now what's in front of aha uh -huh. look at this here now this is live as I'm recording this you can see there the bar status indicator watch what happens when we come down to our pivot remember I told you about selling into a pivot but what else did I say about pivots also they become support resistance levels and your best divergence trades are off pivots bang that is called a 2d and up we go now you look at that there is each one of those steps there is ten dollars you only need traders you only need how many all you need is 20 of those a day that's all you need let me pull this back up here and this is what we're talking about 10,000 a week now what if then you go to 300 well I won't even show you the figures 300 a day that's and and this is how we reframe it and it does make a big difference psychologically rather than thinking in money terms you think in steps now look at that there there's over 20 25 steps in that move that is a $200 move within itself one thing I haven't said I don't think is if we take that trade there where's my stop go one tick above and so the reason we needed that uh, $4,000 account is on the, if we're doing it correctly your maximum stop loss ever on this time frame is 16 ticks which is $80 what's 2% of 4,000 it's $80 okay so that's why we use that now traders we're up to 33 minutes so I do need to uh, um, wrap this up but why don't you come and join me let me teach you how to day trade okay um, this is not rocket science what it's about quite frankly is looking for those patterns am I following my major EMAs where do I enter where do I place my stop and what's a realistic target okay now as I mentioned also uh, you can attend eight of my live live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and you can type in questions you'll be there with between one and two hundred traders are in each class depending what's what's on TV I think uh, so you can type in questions where I'm explaining everything from money management through to the chart patterns we spend a good hour on the charts going through step by step where to enter where to place your stop loss and where to exit now as I've shown you you can get going with as little as four hundred dollars to five hundred dollars in your trading account so traders come and join me thanks traders hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in well 
in class. <laughs> okay, traders, thank you.